What's going on, guys? I'm bringing you round two of OLT winners bracket Alexander versus Extra. Um, Extra played uh, updated Cantor last, uh, last round and he won. Um, uh, I, I think he just, I don't know how easily he won, but he won. And Alexander and Ray Scarface had a really good series, which I recorded on my channel, so check that out if you haven't seen it already. Um, this is a pretty good series. Extra Shine isn't as active as he used to be at one point in uh, Small Gun, but he's back for OLT, so should be a good series. Um, looking at the matchup, Alexander's got a really nice balance team with Mega Sableye and uh, Weevil and whatnot, and uh, Extra Shine just got a bulky offense. Um, I'm just trying to uh, analyze what each uh, of these uh, players' win condition is, and it seems like, ooh, that hidden power fire, that is sick. Um, that was a good turn for Extra Shine, but yeah, I think the Kyrim is the biggest threat to Alexander's team. He literally has nothing for it, and that uh, Ferrothorn dying was gigantic. And that miss, oh my goodness, that is so uh, unfortunate for uh, Alexander. He's just going to end up sacking the Weevil, unfortunately. Or not, or um, he makes a really good play there to stays in an Extra Shine or predicts and flicks knockoff, but um, worked out for him even though he loses his item, but uh, he's able to kill the Her Heracross, which is pretty big as well for uh, Alexander he's trying to come back in this game he's at, the, he's at a disadvantage right now so he's got to play really well if he wants to win from here it's gonna be interesting to see how he uh, brings it back so hmm. okay so it just goes into the Landorus um, I guess the top of Coco is Specs that's why he's switching to the Landorus there so he's gonna get rocks up on it or in fact, he's just gonna click EQ. I guess Pex uh, Dazzling Gleam might have been a 2 hit KO for sure. M most likely the 2 hit KO. Just dab Dazzling Gleam probably does a lot of damage. So good player from uh, safe play from Alexander there, where like, extra time predicts that and just goes to his own lander. Lander. So I'm expecting rocks from both players, but um, definitely extra time clicks rocks. Uh, Alexander might just switch out here because he needs uh, momentum more than anything else. In fact, I am completely wrong there. But extra time makes another sick play. Very very good play. Okay, so it reveals protect on Landorus. I've seen that a few times actually, which is kind of cool, like an interesting set. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I'm having a sore throat today. But um, yeah, Extra Shine's been playing really well. Like he's made some pretty sick plays. Uh, he got that lucky dodge, but um, it didn't change as much as it, it would have mattered. But um, yeah, he's playing really well. That that switch into Kyrim was really cool. Um, Alexander has to switch out here, so he does do that. And what? Wow, that's another incredible play from Extra Shine. Like, literally predicts the switch into Celesteel I switch and gets it out. A clip to Fusion Bolt, which is a very aggressive play, but he's really playing this game, and I don't see him losing from here. He's in a fantastic position, and it's going to be really hard for um, Alexander to, to win from here. Like, I guess Tox Specs is the only one who's had a chance, but Tapu Koko and Lander is both together, basically. Not happening and interesting play there. Alexander's basically trying his best to come back from the situation and he's making some cool plays like the one right uh, right now and then uh, the play earlier which was the Weevil switch in but it's when you're at a disadvantage you gotta do whatever you can to come back from it so he's trying his best but does he get the burn here? Burn would be really nice. No burn so uh, unless I don't know if Extra Shine's gonna roost here but if he doesn't roost he's gonna kill, get a kill here. Indeed he does so Toxic Effect, um, Toxic Effect just dies and um, Weevil comes in, maybe most likely gonna pursue here, especially since Choice Plan is knocked off. So you pursue and you get a uh, the Kyrim dies, so that's kind of like like an okay situation for Alexander. But Celestia is really low. Um, okay, so I guess it doesn't have protect. I'm not really sure. Good play there, but uh, yeah, regardless, because he gets off a really nice uh, damage, or some a really nice red damage on Landers. So Landers cannot get uh, rocks up anymore, and. Um, Alexander's gonna get a kill here, unless Tox unless he switches out of Toxic Effects, which I don't think he's gonna. So I can even I'm expecting even a knockoff here. Yep, there you go. So um, knocks off, and Tapu Koko comes in. So since it's specs, I don't know if uh, Extra Shine's gonna click Dazzling Gleam here or something else. Uh, he could click Dazzling Gleam and uh, Celestia will get to it KO'd. So I think it's pretty safe, or not. Uh, I'm not really sure. Yeah, he does end up clicking da Dazzling Gleam, and that is. A fantastic play. I thought it would 2 hit KO, but it does not. So uh, Alexander can like get it teed up. So he's actually like somehow getting back into this game, which is completely uh, astounding. That's so cool. That's so cool. 
Never mind whatever I just said. I thought it was Specs. I really thought it was Specs. I didn't know it was wasn't Specs. So uh, yeah, it's definitely over now. Um, yeah, he since he revealed only that in the game, I guess I could have. That was with really Specs. He's in fact Z move. So how much does he do? Seventy one. That's a decent uh, amount. And I think Scarf Cartana should squeak from here. Or he just gets a kill with Kyron Black. So yeah, I mean definitely Alexander. Um, I don't. I don't think he needs to. Need to make that play, but yeah, I guess it's still gonna just kill the Cartana and win. win so, this was a really cool game. Actually, both of them made some really aggressive plays, and Alexander almost came back, which was really cool. So, uh, I think this is Scarf. It's not Scarf. The Toxic Effects will win anyway. So, definitely a win for Alexander here, regardless of whatever play is made, hundred percent. So yeah, good game. Uh, I'll bring you guys game two and a half. To his year and um, Alexander's got a hyper offensive team. I really like uh, that team actually. Um, I've seen it before and I think it's pretty fun. So unfortunately, he has no ground resist, which is kind of annoying. So Landers is going to be really good in this matchup. Uh, Exercise got a pretty much in the hyper offense as well. Like he just got a random tox effects. I like both the teams a lot. Um, I don't really know how these guys are going to go about things. I think Extra has rocks and Greninja on Alexander's team is toxic. I just spikes and top T spikes. So, um, and uh, Extra Shine is probably running some sort of Z move or some something like that. I don't know. Low kick is something I used to see back in Oras. Honestly, never seen low kick after that. So, um, interesting from Extra Shine there. He's going to get T spike. Uh, he's not going to T spike because there's toxic effect, but he's going to keep getting spikes up. So, I'm expecting another layer here. Unless uh, it's a speed tie and uh, extra shine clicks like ice beam or something, not really sure what the set is on extra shine then. So Alexander is definitely gonna spike here, and then I'm just wondering what he's gonna go out to the turn afterwards. So, uh, but in fact he clicks uh, ice beam and he's gonna perish to gunk shot here. So that was an interesting series of plays. So one layer up for Alexander and a weakened Greninja. So it's it's looking like a decent trade overall. I don't know what really comes here. Does he go to Scizor? Does he go to East Zygarde and E-Speed? Does he go to Mimikyu? He's got triple priority and he's probably got like, um, like, I guess some sort of a setup Magir. I'm not really sure what kind though. I'm expecting this game to like go by fast as well. Like these guys are, I know Extra Shine is a super uh, offensive player, so he's not gonna, he's just gonna blitz the entire game. While we wait, I guess I'm just gonna, you know, like, how's your guys' Sunday going? Uh, honestly, like, my, my least favorite day of the week is Sunday because I've always got so much work on Sunday and it just, like, kills my wife because I know the next day I've got school as well, so it's just really annoying. I kind of hate Sundays. Like, I'm Friday and Saturday, I'm chilling, and then Sunday, like, oh, I've got to work, and then tomorrow back to school, so it's annoying. But yeah, so he just goes to Mimikyu there, probably gonna sh does not Shadow Sneak, makes a really nice play there. Both of these players are making such aggressive plays, it's so interesting to watch. Um, the Shadow Claw does uh, 53 and now he's basically in player rough range, but Landorus clicks U-turn so he's gonna end up breaking the, the this, gu this guys and just takes around 53, so... Rocky Helmet means there's no recovery, recovery either, but getting that chip off on Landorus is actually really helpful for Zygarde. It's definitely DD, so I think DD Zygarde can definitely just, just clean 6-0 um, after like um, a one setup, because Magnezone dies, Toxapex dies, uh, Diancy dies, Randers is almost in range, Greninja dies, and Tapu Lele I think should die as well unless it's Scarf. So it's looking really good for Alexander here. I think he should pull this through if he plays well enough. Um, if you can bring in Zygarde on like Magnezone or something, it's just completely over for uh, Extra Shine 100%. So Magnezone seems kind of uh, decent in this matchup uh, in the sense that there's Scizor and there's Magirna, so I'm not really sure how he's going to play um, with those kept in mind so I'm expecting extra to come out here I think that is Scarf Lele I could be wrong but I'm expecting extra to come out here and get rocks up um, if I'm not mistaken that is definitely Scarf uh, sorry 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 it is Sash Excadrill with rocks uh, rapid spin toxic and EQ something like that so most likely expecting rocks right now from Al Alex and I'm not really sure Extra Shine brings in because nothing really likes coming on Extra Rill if you look at the matchup. Landorus is pretty weak as well, so I guess Landorus can come in, but Landorus is like, um, if it takes more damage, it's not really good for Extra Shine and nothing else can come in on an EQ. So maybe he might, if it's not Scarf, he might just stay in an attack here, which he is, I think, but that does 53, which is really good for uh, Extra actually. I didn't think it would do that much, but since it does that much of the 2 KO, and now uh, Alexander is just gonna let the. 
the nothing perish and now I'm expecting like an SD from Alex because Scarf Psychic means SD or like a superpower because even Magazone can come in I'm not really sure it's like a 50-50 probably not a 50-50 but like a pretty um, even situation here so both of them have a bunch of options because there's no way Scissor uh, cannot put VP because of the Psychic Terrain which means that there's uh, priority moves in artwork so Magazone indeed is to switch in so what is Alexander doing? Does he SD? He does not SD he clicks knock off Interesting, interesting. But now that the scissor is trapped, is, is it is it just gonna die? Uh, in fact, it is faster than the magazine. How much does it do? 95%. That is really bad for Alex, actually. I, I'm kind of confused on how he's gonna win from here. I'm expecting like him to maybe just sack the scissor here, like in the sense that since it's faster, no, he does not do that. Like I think that would been that might have been the play, like just SD or something, so the magazine kills you, and then you go to Zygarde the next turn and uh, click DD. But I'm kind of surprised he didn't do that because now everything cl uh, click kills Zygarde. Uh, Greninja probably has Ice Beam. Landorus can doesn't kill it, but uh, Greninja kills with Ice Beam. Diancy with Moonblast. Tapu Lele with Moonblast. Uh, Toxic Effects doesn't allow it to set up because of Scald and Haze. So except Landorus, everything I just basically kills the Zygarde. So I I'm, I think it's kind of hard for uh, Alex to maybe win from here. Uh, but like yeah, Tapu Lele does come in now, so Magina can come in the next turn. So there's still hope, but it's looking pretty difficult from here. Most likely, uh, Magirna comes in right now and then clicks. Um, it depends on the set now. What what does he reveal? If this is Z Thunderbolt, then uh, Alex has a shot because it, that can also sweep. Z, like Z Thunderbolt runs uh, T Bolt, Ice Beam, Flash Cannon, which also sweeps here. But um, he's got to get the turn right. He just ends up Thunderbolting. Scald comes out. Okay, so maybe I should just lost. I'm not even sure anymore. Because like yeah, so this is basically a decent roll. Like what what is how does the toxic effects even beat the Magirna when it when it's doing like 14% to a leftovers set? So I think Extra Shine might have lost. I do not know, but possibly T Bolt did a lot of damage. Dude, 40% is pretty insane without a setup. So I don't really see how Extra Shine is gonna kill this mod. Interesting that extra fan doesn't have checks to both Zygarde and Magirna on his team, like that's pretty weird. Reveals combines. This game's okay, so he just gives himself a shot here uh, by clicking Haze. So So I guess that's what extra shine's strategy here is like basically just haze stall everything and um try to win from there but even though like even if he keeps haze spamming like if he if, if uh Alexander just t bolts here and kills the Toxapex there's nothing on extra Shine's team that can over kill the Magirna except Landris so I still think he's gonna win from here uh Alex that is I don't really see how extra Shine's gonna kill Magirna with anything on his team he can easily shift here if he goes to Landris and k kills with EQ somehow Zygarde will sweep with DD so I don't really see um, a win condition for extra shine uh, here. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I, I I don't think so. In my little knowledge of OU that I have. <sighs> Ice beam, interesting. Is he trying to PP stall? Not really sure here. It could be. Like I said, I could be wrong, so I don't know. Okay, nice prediction there. Let's uh, shift gear on the recover. Gets off a T-Bolt, of course. I'm expecting another T-Bolt here, maybe. Uh, he could, like, potentially hack with Ice Beam or T-Bolt and then win from there. Because if he, if he freezes, then Extra Shine has to click Skull to Thaw. And if he, he T-Bolts, then he can try to hack with, like, Poison. Oh, uh, sorry, with T oh, Paralysis. So... I'm trying to think. Yeah, so I guess Alex is trying to like stall the Magirna, uh, the Toxapex out. I don't really know why, like unless it's not DD Zygarde, which would be really surprising to me. So I'm, I'm not really sure. And gets the burn off there, so no more recovery for Alex. Because leftovers and burn damage is cancelled out, so he's going to be at 86% from now on. Um, I don't know, dude, I don't know. I'm just trying to understand like what the series of plays is for these guys. But... 
yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe I'm missing something, but I don't really don't know why he's not trying to kill the the packs because I think killing the packs would allow him to win with Zygarde. I'm so tired. I'm not looking forward to this week. It's gonna be so busy. It's been like a month since college started. So, all right. So interesting play there. Uh, switches out a Zygarde. Uh, not really sure what the game plan is from here. He cannot kill if he kills the Toxapex, he loses anything else. He's just gonna sub or something. Like, if he subs, that would make sense. He does end up subbing. So, um, if this is whatever that uh, a Guav Berry or whatever, then it just ends up sweeping, like I said. Uh, I don't think HPI or XP Ice is gonna kill, no way. So, he can just click Taos, uh, DD again. And if they, it is that, that Berry, then he's gonna get back to like 50% again. So, I just don't think so. I just gonna win from here. Honestly, so unless HPS crits or something, it's definitely over. But yeah, waiting on them. Ready, ready, ready. What's extra calcing here? Is it calcing HPI's damage? Like, it's not gonna change. Like, HPI's is the only play here for extra, so. Yep. He ends up EQing, though. Interesting. I don't even know. Oh, wow. So, uh, an Uber's game started. I wish I could record this, actually. No. Okay, I'm glad I'm not recording this. Uh, why would you stall versus M Dragon? Like, I don't even know if uh, Ari still has ever seen M Dragon play, but he just like destroyed stall only times on the stall against himself. But yeah, I wish I could have recorded this, but I don't want to record a game with stall anyway, so fuck that. It's gonna watch the series. So yeah, I think Alexander is gonna end up just uh, cleaning this game up. So just waiting on him to just finish this game. I don't know what extra shines like. I guess like maybe he has Water Shuriken with, on Greninja or something. But even though even if he has that, Magira just clicks Shift Gear and maybe wins actually. It doesn't win for sure because uh, because of uh, Skull Burns, which means he has no recovery. So he can haze off. All right, dude, don't, don't bark in the background, please. Thank you. God, I'm sorry, guys. If you can hear that, there's a dog outside. I don't want to close my windows because it'll, it'll get too hot right now and then I have to turn the fan on to make it uh, to give background noise, so sorry. Alright, so he doesn't end up going to a guy and see, definitely just gonna end up sacking this. I don't know what extra time he's gonna be doing, like, I'm just trying to understand like what he's trying to achieve right now, so. This game is far, like, definitely over. I don't know, I'm just confused at this point. Oh, I guess he, like, tried to live by not mega evolving but I don't think that's gonna really make a difference anymore now he's trying to like basically just toxic effects back to full oh it reveals earthquake what why is it earthquake hello whatever all right I'll give you I'll bring you guys game three whenever it happens I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I'm a little late because uh, I wasn't able to get my resolutions right for some reason it was just being annoying as fuck so um, most of them actually end up bringing HO again, which is really cool that none of them chose to like bring a bulky stall Celestila garbage team uh, for game three. But Extra Shine's got another box HO with some Haolucha and some Tapu Coco and some Pinsir. It's looking pretty cool. Um, Alex has got a little little bulkier side, because, bulkier side because he's got Ferrothorn and uh, Landris. But Pinsir actually taking 44% in two turns is pretty good for Alexander. Like. He doesn't have a, a specific flying check, but that damage really helps. The Hoopa is pretty cool. I haven't seen Hoopa in a while, so I don't know how much work it does this game because of the Haluja and whatnot, but it looks cool. I'm just going to scroll through the Arcella game for one second because I've heard something cool happen. Um, damn, this is looking really tough for Mariano, dude. Holy shit. Yeah, I might have been wrong about this, like... 
And Dragon's got a, like a pretty trash matchup with Giratina. Giratina usually like it just perishes versus stalls. Anyway, so we're gonna go back here and uh, what's going on? Wait. Ooh, that is that is tough. That is that is tough, dude. That is tough for M Dragon. Yeah, I don't really see him winning from here, unfortunately. Like, I like his team a lot. I think his team is probably really cool. But Zygarde just got burned the first turn. I think, like, it's probably set up for something. And it's gonna be hard for him to come back from this. There's just, like, no way. This team would be really cool if this meta wasn't so stally. Like, um, I guess it was right on his part to predict, like, no stall from Ari. I didn't, I didn't expect stall either, but uh, unfortunate. But moving back to this game, uh, Scizor clicks Ace, uh, Flanders clicks, sorry. Sorry, Pinsir clicks ASD, kills Landris off, which is pretty cool. Uh, but Landris did his job right and got rocks up, and I don't think he's gonna get rocks off, even if Extra Little has been because of Mimikyu. So, uh, Zygarde comes in basically meaning that he's gonna e, e speed here and probably kills as well. So, I don't know if Extra's gonna switch out or just stay in. And he doesn't have a decent switch in either, so he might, he might just go to Extra Little and try to get rocks up, uh, or just sack the, the Pinsir. Like, doesn't really make a difference because. Pinter is not gonna be doing much in this matchup for sure, so no big deal there. Halucha is really cool, dude. Like, I feel like it could sweep because it kills pretty much everything. But yeah, fake out on Man Manicham and whatnot. Oh shit, not bad. Overheat, nice. Yeah, dude. Honestly, I don't really, see, I don't really think Mem Dragon has a win condition right now. Unless it's like DD Zygarde, I don't think so. And since it's DD uh, T Tar, sorry, and since it's Foul Play, probably not. I'm sorry to like keep switching between games, but uh, I'm an, I always enjoy spectating Goober's game, so kind of sad that it happened at this time, unfortunately. So, indeed, Extra does end up going to Extra Little, and I'm surprised that Alexander switched out there. I, I don't, that, that was a really confusing turn to me. I guess because uh. Extra doesn't really have good uh, checks to Zygarde, he's trying to like weaken it. So, makes sense, but Ferrothorn just comes in and doesn't even have leftovers on it, so I don't really know what the set is on Ferrothorn, like maybe it's Helmet or something. And um, I'm expecting Mimikyu here. Well, maybe, I mean, Mimikyu is a 50 50 because if he like, EQs and Mimikyu dies the next turn, so he just actually ends up just spinning, which is so huge for Extra Shrine, like it's looking really good for him now. So, Stealth Rock also comes out. Come, come out. And now it's another turn where Mimikyu can come in or not. So, but nope, Extra gets that right as well. So it's actually looking really good for Extra Shine now. Um, honestly, he's gonna EQ kill the Ferrothorn here for sure. So, So Zygarde comes in again. I'm, I'm really confused at that turn, like why did the Zygarde switch out in the first place? I guess he just, I don't know, honestly I don't know. Since there are no ground resist on extra side speed. But yeah, extra just ends up getting damage on um, Zygarde and uh, Zygarde kills uh, extra drill. So now, I guess maybe Greninja comes in, I guess, possibly. Mimikyu is a pretty big threat right now, you know, because um, they still got these guys on and whatnot. So at plus four, it can probably kill Magirna. Damn, yeah, um, is it over? I think it's over. But if it's even if it's rest I got like how is he killing how is he killing the uh, parts of the ground? It's definitely over. Yeah man, Ubers is just so unpredictable, like it's just matchup honestly. Um M Dragon had like a really bad I'm not gonna like side with M Dragon here, but like it's a pretty shitty stall matchup for M M Dragon what to do. It's hard to like make teams with Ubers, which always like beat stall and stuff. Like you're always gonna be at a disadvantage for stall no matter what, so it's gonna be a hit or miss. You can, um, no matter how good or bad you are, you can always choose a win with stall because of just how because of the nature of stall in this tier. So, but yeah, I have seen M Dragon like completely obliterate stall at one point of time, which is like a player in, in HBL. So, Greninja does indeed come in, and I'm expecting a switch here. Goes to Hoopa, which is probably a good special defensive check. If this is a U-turn, which it probably is, uh, Hoopa dies right now, so uh, it's gonna be a big turn here. If it's Hoopa, if it's with U-turn, like Alexander probably is like in a very, very bad situation. So it's in fact Spike. So 
just like Alexander's team from last game, like it's pretty similar with the ex extra delivery ninja core, where you have two pretty much pretty much two suicide leads and like, uh, whoa! I did not know that it uh, runs with like that is so sick, lol. But uh, yeah, that's cool. That's a tech set and goodbye Hoopa. That was a pretty good turn. Tapu Koko gets the kill on Hoopa. So I still feel uh, Mimikyu is probably the win condition for Alexander, but with the reflect up, like it's gonna do nothing. And the Magirna just becomes more annoying. Though high jump kick from Medishan would still do a lot. I don't know. Halucha probably still dodge clear from Mimikyu. Actually, it's still pretty close, even though. So it's wrist, it's glare, so it's probably like set up I guess, I mean, I guess M Dragon just gonna keep stalling and try to win from there. I don't think he actually had a proper win condition. Yeah, like Pedon's dead, Dragar just sits there, Arsh's ground can kill everything, so yeah, it's probably over. Okay, so Magirna versus Zygarde. Does Extra Shine just stay in here and click like shift gear? I'm not really sure. It could. Because Thousand Arrows will not kill, so. Hmm. Oh, that is so rough. Damn, that is actually so rough. That That is pretty sad, but. I guess he's gonna go for the sweep with Halucha now, because Halucha is gonna resist. No, he's not gonna resist the thousand arrows, but he can he can basically click sub here. I don't think it's gonna break. Maybe it could. I don't really know, but the plus uh, one defense and then the reflect up might allow him to like just live, so he can set up uh, an SD. But then many times can come in. I think Alexander might have won this game because of that crit. That is so rough, dude. Damn, Alexander might have just gotten lucky like two rounds in a row, but. That could definitely matter, and that might have just won the game, I'm not really sure, but we'll see. Having one less Pokemon for Alexander would have been really good, dude. Like, okay, so he did not get sub up, so Mimikyu will not die, and Player will be like... I honestly don't know how much Player is going to do now, because the, the sheer defense at which Halucha is at. Reflex got like, one turn or three turns more, depending on what the... Apple Focus item is. How much is player up to? That did zero! Holy shit! So, um, yeah, Extra Shine wins. What do you know? I guess I was completely strong. I didn't think it would do only 36. Like, that's just like laughable damage, honestly. So, Extra Shine actually ends up winning this game, which is pretty cool. Yeah, really tech sets and stuff. Um, I, I've seen like the Halucha set in Juju as well. Like, it's just pretty good Halucha set. So, Extra Shine ends up just winning. Um, it's faster than Medicham because of uh, the Unburden ability, so really good series overall and um, cool team from both and I hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys see you guys in another video soon, so please go.